All right, so welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta, and this is the mock interview series for cybersecurity analyst or security analyst or SOC analyst. Okay, so if you want to get into this career field or you want to excel in this, then this video will definitely help you out. Okay, the process is going to be as usual. I'll be the interviewee, the candidate, and Jamin will be the interviewer. Okay, and um, yeah, so that's that's about the entire process. Before we jump in, make sure you do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that the moment we publish a new video, you get notified immediately. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, Jamin, how are you? Hello, Rajneesh, I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, you're welcome. So, Rajneesh. Uh... My today's question is on uh -huh. encryption hashing. What is okay. the difference between encryption and hashing? Okay, um, so encryption is basically a, a two-way process wherein we actually convert any data into a cipher text. It's, it's a cryptography technology where we convert any normal data, any plain text or raw data into, uh, into a cipher text using uh, algorithm and keys as well using any kind of algorithm there are multiple and uh, using the key so just like we lock our home with the key or any file or protect our date access to any uh, file by using the password we can encrypt any data we can encrypt any kind of a draw data by using the key and it converted into ciphertext. We can get it back as well by decryption process. Okay, so we can get our original data back by using the decryption uh, method. Now, when we talk about hashing, hashing is one way process. We can only encode the data. Uh, we can take any random data file, anything, and we can actually convert it into a fixed length string. I mean, that data will always be fixed length. So if we choose a specific algorithm, maybe 128 bits, so it will always, irrespective of amount of size of a data, uh, it will always give us the 128 bits uh, string of a uh, file. Now the benefit is, it is irreversible, okay? So you can't see, you can't retrieve the original data back, okay? Um, uh, it is very useful if you are if you want to make sure your data is always protected and nobody can get access to the real data. It's beneficial in a situation when we want to perform a lookup among the maybe millions of data, okay, or maybe when we want to store a website information, uh, password and sensitive information. So that, that's that's where it becomes very very helpful. So yeah, great. You explained it very well. Sure. So we just uh, talk about encryption and hashing, Rajneesh. Uh -huh. Which one is more secure and why? Oh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, it, it depends on situation. Where are we using it? Uh, if there is no direct answer, I feel because if you look at encryption, it f fulfill two purpose, or I would say one purpose. It actually achieves the confidentiality or we can say additionally privacy as well. So it's useful, let's say we want to, uh, we are, we are uh, you know, browsing or maybe we are visiting to let's say google.com. So by using encryption, we are ensuring that the data between you and the server is, is confidential. There's nobody else who can, who can see the data. This is all possible by using the encryption because we, we use this AES-256 while accessing the website. So we see HTTPS. That means it's secure HTTP and that the data between me and the Google is in completely encrypted. And that same happened with the Telegram uh, channel messengers and uh, WhatsApp as well. The data is encrypted. So it provides us the confidentiality so that it means that nobody else can see the data. No man in the middle attack is not possible, right? Um, when we talk about hashing, it's more focused on giving us the fixed uh, length size, okay, a fixed number. So it can take any file, any even a video, you know, even a terabyte of a data and convert it into fixed length size. Now, when we talk about sec how secure it is, so uh, 
let's say if we have a data and we send it across over the internet now the other party as well can look at the original hash uh in in the beginning and it can create a new hash of the file as well and compare the original hash with the current hash and if there is a mismatch it means that data might have been corrupted uh in the transit okay so that shows that uh you know this this hashing ensures that uh, uh integrity data integrity that data is not been tampered corrupted in the transit or can even be in the system as well so it's very useful in tracking the integrity of the file so if we talk about security in a very very generic way so i think uh, ha hashing cannot help us in uh you know um, managing the conf, uh, you know uh, it's not that uh, reversible with the encryption because it uh, your original data cannot be retrieved but it ensures the integrity um, you know once the data has been encoded you can't see the original data so on that context yes you can say it's it's more secure hashing is more secure than integrate uh, than encryption but encryption has its own purpose you want both the party to see the data if i send you hi and uh, on the whatsapp the whatsapp encrypts the data and give it to you and at the end you should be able to see what's inside the message right you should see it's hi but with hashing you uh, if we if i send you a data and it get hashed you only see gibberish data it won't be a you know valid information you won't see the original data so it all depends on the situation yeah okay that's very nice so the next question is in what scenario would you choose mm -hmm. encryption over hashing and vice versa um well uh, i would say the same i mean I, this is this is something again a very uh, situational thing if i or let me put it in this way i'll choose encryption when i i have confidentiality or privacy uh, you know uh, when this becomes very crucial for me so in a situation like i want to send some sensitive information over the internet right so organization and enterprises businesses send mult send data uh, to their branch offices over the public internet so by they have they have a uh, few options available they can use the mpls uh, private vpn circuits which is delivered by the service provider or they can go for site to site vpn or branch office vpn or ipsec tunnel as well so ipsec works by encryption encryption itself so if you want to send some sensitive data over the internet uh, or the public network you should go for encryption okay if let's say you have some personal data to be sent across or maybe financial transaction to be done on the on the public network you should go for encryption uh, we should use hashing uh in a very specific situation let's say if we have a requirement that you know we want to track every changes happening in the network so if we want to track every unauthorized changes happening in the network in the server we can use the uh, you know hashing in those situation let's say we want to track uh, you know we want to uh, track uh, or we want to locate uh, a specific file out of millions of a data so every data can be of random size maybe some of them is kb some of them in mb some are some are images videos everything so tracking them uh, or locating those files or searching for those files can become very difficult so with the help of hashing it becomes very easy and um, uh, even blockchain technology also use hashing as well for uh, tracking or looking at look, perform a look up of multiple transaction in the network one more example which is very widely used is to store the password securely on the network so let's say it's linkedin or uh, yeah let's 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 take an example of linkedin linkedin uh, takes username and password right so the moment we create our account it takes username and password and um, if linkedin store the password in a hash by by hashing it uh, it it actually should store the password not in a plain text the hashed file cipher file okay um, 
So the benefit is even if the LinkedIn database, the credential or the user database has been compromised by the hacker or hacker group, uh, they can get the access to the username, but they will never know the original password of it. Okay. So uh, that's the beauty of using hash. So these are some use cases where we could use encryption or hashing. Yeah. Great. It was a very great ex explanation. So yeah, this is all about, uh, I have questions for today. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much, Jamin. So let's talk about our detailed explanation. And uh, in this video will be, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's talk, a, let, let me give you some detailed explanation of uh, encryption and decryption, some visualization as well. Let me share my screen quickly. And um, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, uh, what you see on the top, it's back basically the encryption and decryption process. What you see on the bottom is, is actually your hashing algorithm, okay? So in encryption, what happened is uh, you take any plain text, okay? It's any plain text and you run the encryption function. Uh, the encryption function can be anything. It could be AES256. Uh, AS one 128 uh you know the these are the popular uh encryption algorithm or function you could say the data get encrypted and thus become our ciphertext okay this is our ciphertext our encrypted data now okay by using this cryptographic function or encryption function now if you want to get the original data this will be in the network now this encrypted data will there in the network or maybe on the internet will be in the transit on the network or maybe on the wired once it is decided to be decrypted you need that key okay so it was encrypted using a key it has to be decrypted by using the key as well okay now you can use the same key if you use the same key it is called uh, symmetric key if you use the different key it you it is called as asymmetric key uh asymmetric key is widely used on the public network if you want to go on the public network and you have sensitive data very sensitive sensitive data you should go for asymmetric key where you use the um, where you use a key to encrypt the data and use a different key to decrypt the data on the other side so once you use that key you can get the same plain text so let's say it was high here you can see high here as well okay so in case of hashing things are very different uh, hashing there are multiple hashing algorithm md5 sha sha256 these are the hashing algorithm you can again take high in case of hashing and it will be given to the hash function like MD5 hash function, SHA-256 hash function, and then it become a hash text. Text, sorry. Text. Okay, so this will be gibberish. This will be like this gibberish data. This could be our high. But nobody can see it. The other side, if there's a user, it's the user cannot see that. But in this case, in, in the case of encryption and decryption, both the party can see the data and can send the data, right? But in this case, you can only, a user can send the data as high, it will get hashed, but other side user cannot see it. And that's 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 not actually the purpose of it as well. Hashed is not to send the data and other person can see it, it's to verify, okay? It's to verify the integrity of it. So let's say I send maybe a movie to my friend over the internet. So how, I can use the hashing to ensure that the movie has not been corrupted in between. Okay, so that's where uh, before sending the data, I'll create a ha I'll run the hash algorithm. I'll get the hash value, let's say one, two, three. And once it is sent, sent, it's been sent to my friend. My friend can my friend can again run the hash algorithm by same algorithm, and he get the if he get the same hash value as one, two, three. That means data is not been corrupted. The movie is not been corrupted. Same applied to any confidential data. Same applied to uh, you know, uh, any government documents as well. So, because we need to make sure that nobody has, no one has, uh, you know, corrupted the data in between or in the transit. So that's the difference between encryption and hashing. 
I hope you enjoyed watching our mock interview. Thank you so much. This is me, Rajneesh, with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.